everyone. Welcome to the third installment of Frames of Reference. You've heard the first movement, At First Light, and the second movement, Soliloquy. Today we're going to add to that the third movement, which is of New Places and Things. This is a duet for cello and flute, played by Sunuet Kwok and Lydia Yan, a husband and wife, by the way. And the two of them, I want you to imagine a walk Oh, toward an unknown destination, perhaps north, out on Fish Lake Road, toward the mountain, or to the west, out on, what is that, Record Street, Lone Fir, uh, heading out toward the mountain there. Two people off to discover what they might discover, what's there to see, of new places and new things. And as you hear the two instruments, they're going to interact in conversation, sometimes one, then the other, sometimes together, always excitedly. It's a brief movement, but Consider this a slice of the journey. I want to tell you a bit about an underlying idea that's guided this entire project. One of the most influential things that happened to me as an artist was a visit to the Accademia in Florence, Italy. The Accademia is extremely famous because that's where Michelangelo's David is housed. And believe me, it's a, that's an experience of a lifetime. Walking in there, everyone's in awe the sense of a crowd in awe is palpable. But interestingly enough, as much as I love that experience, the thing that caught me, that struck me the most in my visit to that museum was a little room off to the side. And in this room are hundreds and hundreds of pieces of sculpture, pieces of marble just started, uh, experiments and maybe how an ear would look or a nose would look or maybe just getting the general shape of a head. This was the sculptor seeing what the rock would give them and experimenting with how to bring that image out of the rock. I've become fascinated with the idea of sculpture and Michelangelo's um, uh, line or description of sculpture as knocking off all the extraneous rocks so that what remains beneath is the sculpture itself. In other words, freeing the sculpture from the rock. And in frames of reference, the compositional technique throughout is related to this idea, freeing the sculpture from the rock. Where does a composer get a block of marble the way a sculptor does? Well, that became a problem of itself. And what it came down to was, I create my own blocks of marble. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that in the future. Frames of reference three movements, the first movement revisited, the second movement revisited, and the third movement for the first time. At first light, soliloquy of new places and things. Enjoy. <laughs> 